it's time to apply some liquid metal to a delated Intel i9-13900KS processor to a direct die CPU water block by EKWB. This is the EK Quantum Velocity Squared. And this is actually compatible with Intel 12th, 13th, and 14th gen CPUs. So let's get started. When we do this, it's in two stages. We're gonna put liquid metal on the CPU die of the 13900KS processor that we previously delitted in other videos. And then we're also going to apply it to the CPU water block. Because of liquid metal's surface tension, it's so great that we have to apply it to both. Just because we put it on one doesn't mean that even though when we put the CPU water block on top of it, that the liquid metal is actually going to attach to this. So it has to be on both. And now we just use the Thermal Grizzly Conducta Knot liquid metal to apply right here, just a little bit. I also have a little bit here on the Q-tip and we're just going to spread it around. Now you kind of have to be patient with this because of its surface tension. You have to really let it, kind of give it time to get around the entire CPU die. Now that looks pretty darn good. And we're also going to apply some to the CPU water block, like I said before. So it'll be roughly the same size. And it doesn't have to be a lot, just enough so that it will attach. So pretty much just like that. So now we're just going to place this, mind the RGB cord of course, right on top there, and then flip it over and screw it down. And again, this does not need to be all that tight, just enough so you know it's solid you don't need to actually crank this. We now have a 13900KS processor delitted with liquid metal on an EKWB quantum velocity squared CPU water block using the ASUS Z790 ProArt Creator Wi-Fi motherboard. Voila. And so next up, we just need to plug it all in, start testing, and have some fun with overclocking. Stay tuned.